What is up, crypto hackers? Welcome back to another episode of Hack Crypto, where we hack our Web3 cryptocurrency, blockchain, and NFT education. If you guys are brand new here, we talk about all the basics of the crypto space and the Web3 movement. If that sounds good. Slap a subscribe with notifications on and hit that like button to get this video out to more people. On this special episode, I sit down with Alec Otto. He's the head of marketing at NFT.com. That's right literally just nft.com. That domain is easily the greatest domain I have ever heard. Having been in this space for quite some time, I've seen a lot of domains come and go, and that one is going to stick for a while. I've watched a couple videos on their project before, and full disclaimer, I get a Genesis key just for sitting down with Alec. So this is a sponsored review or interview, however you want to look at that. But it is a fantastic opportunity to dig in to what they're trying to do. They're starting with a community first approach, which is the correct way of entering this space with over 44,000 people on their discord at the time of recording this. I think it's closer to 50,000 and they are doing their public auction next week. The overarching goal of NFT.com is to create a personalized portfolio of NFTs that the whole thing is an NFT on its own. And an example of this would be nft.com slash hack crypto. And I could send that around as an NFT. And that in, on its own is a way to personalize my portfolio. I could connect it to my MetaMask wallet and display different NFTs on it. And just the simplicity of a three letter domain slash my username is gonna be a hot commodity. For the interview, I talk about a battle cry potential for their community because with Subducks, you know, it's SUP. With uh, Guttercat Gang, you have Gang Gang. With Cyber Kongs, you have Ooh. You have all these different incredible battle cries across the board with all these different communities. So it only makes sense for NFT.com to have a amazing battle cry. So the one that I'm gonna start seeding around, and you guys should definitely comment this below to get it going a little bit, is Key or Key Key, because Key is the Genesis Key of the founding community members that are all involved right now in the auction and everything. So why not? Key Key makes sense to me, and maybe a lot of people will like it, I don't know. But leave that in the comments below. Be sure to stick around to the end of the interview because we talk about some really awesome examples of how this is going to be used in the future. So without further ado, let's dive right into my interview here with Alec Otto. What is up, everybody? Today, I am joined with my special guest, Alec Otto, the head of marketing at NFT.com. What's up, Alec? Hey there. Hey, how's it going? I'm doing good. Thanks. All right. Well, let's dig into it a little bit. Before we get into NFT.com, which if you guys are new to the channel, NFT.com is probably the best domain I think I've ever heard. Uh, and I'm, I'm biased having been in this space for a while, but I don't think I've ever heard of a better domain. I mean, that beats crypto.com, that beats blockchain.com. That is a three letter hyper premium domain name. So before we get into that though, I want to get to know you a little bit, Alec, and the founding yeah. team and your background that gets you into this space. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, um, I, again, my name is Alec Otto. Uh, I, I'm the head of marketing here at NFT.com. Um, my background is uh, it, it's kind of a, you know, a, a funny story. I suppose we all really fall into something, but um, I was a musician in, in Los Angeles before I kind of got into the crypto space. Um, I, I had met a, a a friend there who had had a lot of experience in e-commerce and, and was starting to get into uh, crypto, I want to say around 2017. Um, from there, we actually went on to kind of form the founding team of a project called Hedera Hashgraph. Um, this person that I was working with, um, you know, kind of somewhat discovered them and Baird and, and Nance Harmon a little bit to some extent and, uh, and, and brought them, you know, brought them together and was like, hey, I think I think there's something really there's some merit to this hash graph thing. And um, from there, that was when I really started to dig further into the marketing side of things and, and really like truly doing promotion. Um, and, uh, you know, after doing that for about two years, I decided to walk away from the project and, uh, and, and take some time off, uh, worked in some e-commerce for a while. Um, ultimately, still did more community building, but the, the thing that I was kind of missing was, you know, something that was a nice hybrid of uh, community building, but also felt artistic in some way. And, um, you know, when Jordan, who is the, also on the founding team of Federa Hashgraph, reached out and said, I have NFT.com. Do you want to come help build something? It was it was too good to say no. Um, I'm really passionate about what we're doing here because personally, um, you know, and as a lot of artists know, it's it's difficult to monetize. And uh, what I've seen 
the NFT space do for graphic design creators and digital creators over the last year has been incredible. Like people are finally getting paid what they deserve to get paid and, and able to monetize their work. And uh, it, gets, it gets me really excited for the future. So we're all a bunch of builders. We've, we've built different co- uh, Web3 companies before and things. And uh, this is just a really exciting project for us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a rare text or call to get like, hey, I own NFT.com. Uh, let's do, yeah. let's build something. Yeah. Let's make something cool. Because uh, that is, like I said, uh, quite the domain name and the accomplishment to grab that is a feat on its own. So yeah. let's talk about what it is first, kind of from a high mm-hmm. level for everybody uh, that's out there, for the beginners out there, what NFT.com is, and then how this is different than anything that's out there right now, like your OpenSea or your Coinbase uh, NFT marketplace? Yeah, well, I, I guess it would, be, it would be easiest to kind of start with what we are similar to and then, and then kind of move into like our differentiators, which um, so to, in a lot of ways, yes, we, we are aiming to, to perform a lot of the same functions that things like Looks Rare and OpenSea do. Um, however, we have some pretty stark differences as well. Um, that being, first off, um, a, a profile experience. This is one of our first um, uh, feature sets that, that we're kind of moving into. Um, as we as we looked at NFT.com and thought more about, well, what, what really does this stand for? What are we going to do here? Um, and, and how can we add value to the space? Uh, we kind of looked at the existing gallery experience that you get with having a profile on OpenSea or Looks Rare or wherever you have your NFTs visually. And uh, it's, it's, it's kind of sad, uh, to be quite frank with you. You know, you're spending all this money and passion and time on these pieces of art or I Items or things that you own, and they're all kind of just jumbled together in your wallet with a bunch of other things. And um, it, I feel like that was one of the kind of the immediate pain points we saw. And we went, well, we can do something better here. So um, right now, what we are doing is, at least currently, um, is, is we are making, we're going to make available these NFT.com profiles. So NFT.com forward slash Alec or forward slash Steve, um, or really anything you want. It could be waves, beach, NFTs. Um, and this is essentially your Web3 profile, your, your, your Web3 home base of sorts, where you can host your NFTs in any way that you want. So you can do that. You can customize them. You can move them around, resize, reshape, um, and provide context to the works of art that you own. Um, moving as we move forward into our kind of feature set, we will be releasing full-blown analytics and marketplace kind of tied together to really take a lot of the amazing tools that exist in the ecosystem and put them in one place where, where, where people have better access for them. Um, there's some other fun kind of stuff that we were aiming to do when it comes to community. Uh, we take community really, really seriously here at NFT.com. Um, we are trying to build this actually with people, not really for people, like they've been handed down. Um, so we love feedback at NFT.com. We, we take a ton of it in our Discord. And uh, right now we are, we're about to kind of open up uh, the, our, our founding community through this Genesis Key uh, auction and sale that we're doing right now. And um, these people are going to help guide and shape the future of NFT.com. Um, yeah, and, and, and that's, that's, uh, that, that's kind of like the rough gist of like what, what we're doing here. Um, yeah. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. I, I would agree that it does, you know, the, just like an open C profile, things like that does look like a jumbled together kind of, uh, you know, portfolio of sorts. So I, I can definitely feel that uh, for sure. And I think something that a lot of people are always curious about is, you know, the web three component here where, mm-hmm. Is it, is it MetaMask? Are you guys, you know, syncing together with various different types of wallets? And is that domain like NFT.com, is that hosted on like a decentralized storage option or how, how is this on the, on the spectrum of decentralization, where would you kind of put it? So I guess to, to be, to be really like kind of, kind of transparent, right. Um, you know, at, at, at first, right. Like a lot of our infrastructure itself is is not necessarily like like our website itself is not like strictly web three hosted um but when it comes to like uh the, the marketplace functionality and analytics functionality functionality that'll come down the line um all of that is is on chain and, and, and fully transparent we, we we don't aim to create a closed system of sorts that um that that would make you know, in some ways you can trade off gas fees for a closed system, but uh, again, we, uh, in, for, for security's sake, I think it's probably a better decision to, uh, to keep those types of things on chain. 
Um, we do have some interesting ideas about how we can help to begin mitigating like gas in the space, um, as well as begin to incorporate other other chains over time. One of the things that we do aim to do is, is be uh, chain agnostic and uh, begin branching into other uh, other uh, blockchain and consensus technologies. That way, we can kind of bring more of the community together. Got it. And at the at the time of recording this, what stage are you guys at, and yeah. how big? is the team right now? Yeah, um, well, the, the team is still pretty small. Um, I want to say we have probably, uh, man, I'm probably going to undershot this, but somewhere between 20 and 40 people total, I want to say. Um, we, we, we're we growing the team very rapidly. In fact, we are hiring right now too, careers at NFT.com. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the team is, is slowly beginning to, to kind of scale up. Um, right now, uh, the stage that we're at is we are kind of establishing our, our preliminary community. So like I mentioned earlier, we, we, we kind of believe in building projects with communities and really addressing pain points, trying to look for like where the NFT space needs help and, and what tools we can help build to, to kind of push it forward. So in order to do that, um, we have a lot of features built, but we want feedback and we want, uh, you know, opinions and, and thoughts and, 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 you know, to build that kind of like constructive loop. So we are currently selling 10,000 of what are called Genesis keys. These are NFT keys that get you access to um, two NFT.com profiles each. So if you, if you buy one of these keys or mint one of these keys, you will have the ability to create two NFT.com profiles of your choice. Um, which gets you first access to, you know, all the cool ones and stuff like the, the smaller ones and, and, and more iconic names, um, and which will then end up being, you know, your, your, uh, your profile and gallery hub. Um, and to some extent, uh, even kind of laying the groundwork for a bit of a social experience on web three. Um, but yeah. Got it. And I, I do have an example for you. Yeah. And this is an example that happened recently and it was on the Coinbase NFT marketplace. Mm -hmm. And this is relevant because it was a username and there was a well-known influencer. I won't name them on Twitter that is well-known in the NFT community. Someone claimed their username on the mm -hmm. Coinbase NFT marketplace. And what happened was because that person was an influencer, they reached out to uh, Coinbase. There's still a little bit of murky waters where nobody really knows what happened. But Coinbase ended up taking that username from the original user and giving it to the influencer and verifying them with a check mark. If this were to happen with NFT.com and someone like, uh, you know, that has a bunch of followers on Twitter came to you and said, hey, someone actually is sitting on my username, my NFT.com slash, uh, you know, Steve username what do you think the steps will be? And it doesn't have to be something concrete right now, but what do you think you guys would do in that situation? That's actually a brilliant question. Um, so we, we, uh, we have a bit of a, a, a kind of weird take on how these profiles work. Uh, like I mentioned, you know, people are able to, to mint these, these profiles. Um, and I guess I didn't clarify this earlier, but um, these are NFTs themselves. So your access to modify one of these accounts or pages or galleries or, or showcases, storefronts, whatever you want it to be really, um, is this token. It's, an, it's a non-fungible token. It's ERC-721, just like the, the Genesis keys or any other piece of art. Um, and with that, with that token, this is something that you own. So your profile is yours. Um, I will say in full transparency, yes, we do have uh, similar abilities in the aspect where, where we can you know, take action against the profile, should that be necessary. But um, the way that we plan to do this is a little bit different. Um, we do have pretty um, you know, written out terms and agreements as, as every company does. But the only things we really want to have to police are things like hate speech, revenge, or exploitation. Outside of that, we really kind of want to make this an, an open playing field for anyone who wants to, wants to, to mint things and, and create things. And uh, you know, we, we had thought about reserving specific profiles for all of the people in the NFT space. And we have to some extent tried to, to you know, put, some, put some, like, some marks down so that people don't go in and mint these particular profiles. And then we can work with those people because they do have a lot of influence in the space. But not only influence, but they're they're big positive you know positive people for the space, and you know we, we want to support that. Um, but we're not perfect, and we can't get everyone. So because of that, um, if one of them gets minted, 
uh, the, what we say is basically, so long as you're not infringing on copyright, we are not going to go after you or take action. If you, however, impersonate someone and they go after you, then you know we might be in a situation where we have to take action. Trademark and copyright laws are pretty clear, but yeah, ideally, you know, we're trying to be <laughs> pretty pretty neutral here. Yeah, and you're dealing in a space that is, you know, in the in the realm of game theory, you're not dealing with logical players all the time. Uh, you're not, yeah. you're dealing with people that. Uh, they identify potential, uh, you know, influential people out there and see it as a, you know, a, an opportunity to make money really quickly by squatting on names similar to people getting like the Nike usernames on every single social platform that used to launch you know, yeah. 10 years ago. Yeah, it's, it's a similar concept in this space uh, that is, you know, kind of plaguing the space a bit, but it's good that you guys are actually reaching out to these people proactively to say like, hey, you have the opportunity here to, to claim this, uh, you know, username and you can't be like, uh, not necessarily extorted, but you, you can't, you can't have somebody take that from you in advance. So that's good that you guys are yeah. being proactive on that. Yeah. We, as much as we can, you know, it's, it's difficult because again, it's, it's impossible to grab literally everyone. There are so yeah. many amazing people in the space that make the space cool. Um, but you know, we're, we're going to do our best. Um, no platform is perfect, but, um, you know, we, we, we do aim to make this pretty, you know, do what you want to do. We're, we're not going to, we're not going to hold you back too much on what you, what you commit. Yeah. And one thing yeah. that shines very much out of this project is the advisors. I'd love mm -hmm. to hear that story as to how does one go and get advisors <laughs> like you guys have as alter egos of Snoop and things like that. So, you know, I don't even know. I don't actually know if it's Snoop. I don't know. I, I personally, I, I don't think it is. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I'm like, I'm just, you know, everyone's going to be like, no, no, he's totally just covering for him. Um, no, um, I've had the amazing opportunity to, to actually like uh, be, be in a group chat with like, with people like, like Cosmo and, and, um, and, you know, some of our, uh, and I've even like one of our, one of the artists working with us is Nina Chanel. She's incredible. And, um, you know, talking to these to these these people too helps us to kind of identify a little bit about uh, you know what where the pain points are in the space and and ultimately we we are so so grateful for people who um, are are willing to you know like work with us and and talk about us and and help share in the vision a little bit and make people aware um, you know ultimately these people stake our reputations on 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 what we're doing and and that's part of why we have such a docs team too. Um, because we, we, we know that there's a lot of kind of rug pulls in the space and, and we don't, we, that's not really what, what we want to showcase here. So all of us, we are very transparent, um, how we go about finding and meeting these people, um, our, our co-founder Jordan, uh, Freed and Andrew Masanto are fantastically well-connected people, um, brilliant minds. Uh, Andrew, uh, actually owns, uh, one half of, uh, or, or is a partner in the ownership of right click save as guy, which is a, an art piece that is co-owned by Cosmo. Uh, uh, yeah, Cosmo. Um, so we we have a, a variety of different uh, kind of connections in the space, and uh, and Jordan Jordan's a great great people person too. Uh, you know, we like to send him out, and he always comes back. He's like, guess who I met today? So <laughs> it's fun. It's cool. You need someone like that on the team, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And I've watched a couple yeah. of his uh, videos, and he is very very well spoken and articulate yeah. around. Uh, you know, I I liked his piece about a DAO that could potentially get NFT.com on a billboard or a stadium yes, like crypto.com. Yes. We're that big was fans weird. of the stadium lifestyle. We're, we're, we're hoping for it. You know, we'll get there. Yeah. yeah. First though, I, I would love to challenge uh, crypto.com to like an esports game or something. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Have, have the dot coms get a little friendly competition. If you're listening, crypto.com, we're down. <laughs> so hit us up. <laughs> yeah. Hit us up. I think that there's, there's definitely merit to uh, new companies coming into the space with actual operators, because many people uh, that have been around this space for a while know that it, it, it can often be very uh, hard as a traditional entrepreneur coming into this space when everything is moving a million miles an hour compared to other industries. Token prices are basically crushing legitimate operators left and right, and they're just trying to you know, execute. So it's, it's a very kind of daunting space to come into um, and I think that I commend you guys on actually researching and getting a pulse before moving forward, because mm -hmm. this is a very minefield filled space culturally. And I think that 
building the community first approach, reaching out to these types of influential people, talking to them about pain points, figuring out what, what are the minds that you should be aware of before moving forward. And a good example of the wrong way to do this was like Ty Lopez and his huge uh, kind of dumpster fire of, of an NFT drop. So it, it's really cool to see you guys uh, doing that approach. Thanks. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's interesting. I, I, I just remembered a point that I wanted to share from earlier too. Uh, you know, a, a domain like NFT.com is interesting um, because there is a, there's kind of a level of like education that, that kind of comes with having something like that. Um, it's, it's what average people are going to, you know, people who are not crypto native are going to type in when they're looking like, what is this whole NFT thing? Um, and, you know, to, to that extent, uh, we, we do take that really, really seriously. But the other nice thing is, too, about building community first is that we get the chance to invite not only crypto centric people in, but we can invite people who are not crypto centric, uh, watch their experience as they try to you know, participate in a, in a blind auction and then now, uh, now in the public sale uh, on Monday. And, um, you know, all of these things are, are data points that, that we can then take back to the drawing board and go, okay, this is, this is difficult for people. This is difficult. This doesn't make sense. Uh, how can we fix these things and make better? How can we ultimately, you know, build kind of almost a launch pad of sorts for other NFT collections and, and artists who want to get into the space, help them do it right, help them do it in a way that doesn't end up like scammy or something wrong, you know, because every time one of these, these uh, you know, every time there's a rug pull or a scam or something, it loses legitimacy for the entire space. Uh, and, and ultimately, one of the things that we learned at Hedera, too, when we were trying to explain to people like DAGs versus blockchains and things was that overall education benefits everyone. It really is not as we don't have to be as tribal as a lot of us are with, you know, coins and, and who's going to be the best. Like the more that we educate, the, the space is so small, the more we can educate uh, every, everyone around us who may not know what, know what and how crypto works, um, the better we all do. So. Agreed. Agreed. And the final piece is that there are some concepts in the culture here that a lot of viewers uh, and listeners will know of where different communities come up with different like battle cries and, yeah. you know, gutter cat gang being gang gang, the cyber Kong Kongs being, ooh, and you have all these really amazing sort of, for lack of a better term, battle cries of people like sub ducks yeah. and up. And do you guys have that on the horizon? <laughs> do you have a, a battle cry in mind? <laughs> That's actually brilliant. Uh, so we, we, do, we don't have a battle cry yet, but we do have a slogan, which kind of emerged. Um, if it's not NFT.com, don't connect your wallet. Uh, the reason we have this is because we got we got hit so hard with with uh, scam bots um, during during our auction and, and during this period um, it started ramping up as we got closer to launch um, and I think on when the blind auction opened we had over twenty thousand uh, different bot bot attacks and, and things and people wow. trying to fish people in our community um, which thank you to all of our moderators for helping to handle that it was chaotic but we got through it and things are getting better. Um, but, uh, you know, with a, with a name like NFT.com, one of the nice things we can do is we can help uh, keep people from getting fished. We can just tell people, type it in. You know, it's a really good way for people to start practicing good, uh, you know, security hygiene and, and like actually looking at every digit and going NFT period C-O-M and making sure that they are not being fished or, you know, scammed or anything like that. So if it's not NFT.com, don't trust it. Don't connect good, your wallet. It's a good slogan and full transparency. I did get a DM from someone that was blind auction was their username. And it was, it was a spammer or a, a hacker, whatever. And yeah. before I could open it, it got reported and taken as spam. So that is like a signal as somebody who's in this space every day, all day, that's a signal of the community policing power of the, as fast as they could send it out, they were getting reported fast enough that I couldn't even you know, get hurt by it. So that's a subtle flex from you guys <laughs> of saying like, we have enough community policing to protect, um, is a strong community for sure. 
Yeah, I, I, I hope we, I, I really think we can continue this too. I'm, I'm super excited, uh, you know, I, and I do, I do really want to shout out like all of our server guardians um, as well as our, the, the staff that, that manage the server, they are in there 24 um, seven. And I, I don't think we plan on stopping either. We're, we're planning on staffing this thing in such a way that we always do have that level of support. Um, you know, customer support was something I, I, I did. I spent a lot of time doing in the, in the e-commerce space and, and we, we do take it really seriously. Um, yeah. And, you know, to the end of community, like, you know, yes, the, this first 10,000 Genesis keys will represent, uh, you know, the first 20,000 profiles and the initial footsteps for this community. But um, if you don't get one at all, like that, that doesn't mean you are blocked out from the community. We, we're still listening. We're still in Discord. We're still going to have public events and be talking and listening to people because uh, ultimately these NFT.com forward slash you profiles will be opened up to the greater public over time. So um, it's important that we scale this community in such a way where we don't lose the culture, we don't lose the energy, and, and you know, it's, it's nurtured in the right way. So we're going to be leaving it up to the people who do claim the Genesis keys to help us do that and uh, help us do that in a good way. Right on, right on. Well, those are all the questions I have for you. I may or may not be going in and trying to seed uh, battle cries in the Discord very uh, <laughs> <Please> anonymously. <do>. <laughs> <laughs> but where can I'll people go and learn more? about what you yeah. guys are doing. Uh, it's a really complex uh, URL. It's nft.com. <laughs> uh, really be careful on typing that one in. A lot of, a lot of possible mistakes. Um, no, just, uh, yeah, head over to nft.com. <laughs> check out the website. Uh, check out what we're doing. Uh, join our Discord. Uh, it, you, there's, there's links on the website. Um, I would, you know, give out the actual direct links, but it's just way safer to just trust what you're seeing on the website. Um, and to follow along in Discord, we're doing a lot of stuff today. We have two different Twitter spaces and a Discord stage today. Uh, we're getting all of our team to come up and talk and, and say hi to people. Uh, again, we're, we're, we're not hiding. I mean, yes, I have, I love my JPEGs. I love to hide behind my NFTs, but at the same time, we are very much showing our faces here. So we, you know, we want to be present. Come to NFT.com. Uh, the blind auction closes today, but, uh, as of this, this recording today is Thursday. Um, but on Monday, the public sale opens for the remaining Genesis keys. It'll be greater than 6,750 keys. Uh, and this will mark the first, uh, of, well, really the establishment of the founding community members. So uh, please come join us, creators, builders, artists, collectors, uh, metaverse real estate salespeople, avatar creators. We want everyone. Uh, please bring your thoughts, bring your opinions, tell us your pain points. We're here for right it. Right on. Right on. Well, thanks so much for coming on and sharing everything that is NFT.com, Alec. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate your time. That is it for my interview with Alec. It was a really good time sitting down and learning about this offline and as well as the recorded interview. They're working on a lot of really cool things in the background. I'm going to be claiming my domain or my NFT.com slash Steve or slash Hack Crypto, whichever one is going to be available. I'm going to claim that and using my Genesis key next week. Really excited to be one of the founding community members of this project because they're offering it out to the community. All these people that have Genesis keys are going to be the first movers and they're going to get a lot of perks in the future. And it is really exciting to be able to be following them as well as be in the community. And I'm definitely going to be seeding a few uh, of these battle cries out in the community. But that is it for this episode. Slap a like if you like this and definitely leave a comment below. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Hack Crypto.